This is Adam Gorney with Rivals.com here with new Vanderbilt coach Clark Lee. Um, let's let's start about this job. It's uh, watch your introductory press conference. It was definitely motivating. There's this misnomer that you can't win at academic schools. I mean, j just talk about that in your thinking. You know, Notre Dame wins. You know, Boston College is having success. Stanford, Northwestern, Duke has had its moments. Can this be done at Vanderbilt too? Well, listen, I, obviously I wouldn't be here if I didn't feel that way. And it, this this one's personal to me too. But yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, the team building is 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 a science. It's it's um, this is not something that's left to chance. And the environment, you know, um, really doesn't matter. The core components, the foundation of components of a successful team really resonate across sports, across leagues, across levels within leagues. Um, and so we, we need to focus on those foundational elements um, and, and stay committed to them. And, and if we do, you know, we're going to we're going to build a competitive team here and it'll 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 start. It'll have a starting point, which we're kind of tapping into now, um, you know, and then, you know, we'll have a chance to go through spring practice and summer and kind of polish some areas we need to polish. And then we'll you know, we'll be, be ready to play in the fall. And um, I expect this this outfit to continually evolve as we as we learn more about each other. And that takes time. But um, certainly we're, we're here to win. Um, we're here to win at a high level and we're here to win consistently. And we won't uh, speak of anything else in this building. A lot of that comes from recruiting. Um, let's talk recruiting territory. Do you have to win the state first? Do you have to have a southeast approach? a national approach with guys with great academics. What's kind of your focus when it comes to that? Well, I feel like if you, the, one of the most appealing things about this, this job is if you draw a five hour radius around our campus, you hit some incredible population bases, which um, once we move through this pandemic, um, your ability to get those kids on your campus multiple times um, allows for you to build those interconnected relationships. And I think the staff that we put in place to this point is going to thrive in relationship building. I mean, the personalities, the, the age range of this staff, all is built to maximize that the potential of that radius. Um, when you look at the history of this program, some of the most successful players have come out of that radius. Um, in particular, I think staffs that have had great success here have done a great job of evaluating our immediate footprint. And so um, we have to take advantage of the population boom in Middle Tennessee. We have to take advantage of the football that's played in the state. And then we have to move within that five hour radius, uh, starting near and then expanding um, and, and, and evaluate and see what's out there and not be led one way or another by the opinions of others, but see the things that we need to see to determine whether or not someone has the developmental material required to, um, to, to build an excellent player in this conference. Um, and so it, just in response to that question, that five hour radius will be my immediate focus, um, our immediate focus. And then we have the ability because of the, the brand of the university to reach nationally to supplement that, that area. So certainly we're gonna be tar targeting um, national areas where um, we have um, alumni pockets, where we have uh, have had success in the past, um, where there's a there's a natural draw to Vanderbilt. We're going to target those populations um, to make sure that we're we're doing what we can coast to coast to field the most competitive team. Two guys that really stand out in 2021 to me, at least, is uh, wide receiver Quincy Skinner. I think could be a, a good you know addition to the offense. On the defensive side, Marcus Bradley. What did you see from those two guys, and how do they help from the jump here? Well, you know, listen, both players, like you mentioned, are very capable. Both have developmental skills. Both have um, their best football ahead of them, and and so th those are things to me that get exciting, particularly when you talk about recruiting here, because everything in this building is going to be set up to develop the players that we recruit. And so um, ultimately, you know, Marcus is with us currently and is doing a great job. You know, these guys are, are, are gonna be um, introduced to an environment that's new and exciting. Um, but the, the good thing for them is it's new and exciting for everyone. And so um, they, should, they should come in with the mindset that they're competing to play. Um, they should charge hard at the roles and responsibilities that they want. 
and um, and you know this program is going to be built on day to day competition. And so, um, you know, for me, it's you know may the best man win the job, and these guys should be very excited about that. How do you view the portal at Vanderbilt? It's everyone kind of has their own opinions about it. Is it something that you think you can utilize for immediate help? Is it something that isn't going to work out for your strategy? Well, I, you know, I, I was a transfer myself. Now I, I was not a coveted transfer. So, <laughs> um, I, you know, for me, I, I want this to be a recruit, retain and develop program. I want to, I want to recruit the majority of our roster. I want, I want to get to know these, these players and their families um, from their, you know, sophomore, junior year, build relationships that are meaningful and get them t- tethered to a vision for this program that they're going to help us create. I think that is the most healthy way to do it. Once they're in the program, I want to provide an environment where they're inspired and energized to come to work every day and that they leave our building feeling like they're one step closer to long-term goals. That's how we're going to retain our roster. And then everything that they touch in this building, every coach that they talk to is meant is geared towards their development. So that, that model needs to be at the forefront of what we do. And then as you, as we approach holes in the roster, um, you know, we, we have to be very, very, um, you know, strategic in filling those holes if we're going to go into the transfer market. And I say strategic just to say that, you know, this is still a program that's about fit and this is going to be a program that's built on relationships. And so, um, yeah, there's a high bar here academically, and that is what it is. I mean, that's a great advantage to us that the, the excellence of this university is what's going to drive the excellence of this football program. But beyond that, um, you know, th- there's a high expectation of relationship here. And so when, when we do choose to go into the transfer portal to accentuate the roster, we want to make sure we're doing that with someone who's willing to come here and be a great teammate. And uh, that'll be that'll be a high bar for us. Last thing, Clark, I just want to thank you for hiring Barton Simmons. It shows that there's hope for all of us out here <laughs> that we could get a real job one day. <laughs> well, listen, it, it's been fun to, to watch him maneuver around the desk. He doesn't know how to, how to work in an office. Right. Um, but no, we're, we're excited to have Barton. And uh, hopefully it, it's a, a door that opens because Lord knows you guys have seen more film, done more evaluation. <laughs> uh, you know all about this process. So we're, we're happy to have Barton's expertise on board. Great. Thanks for joining us, Clark. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right.